warm welcome to all my students today's topic is microorganisms as you know there are different kinds of organisms living in the environment around us some of these organisms are large and some are small and there are also some organisms which are so small that they cannot be seen with the naked eye these organisms are known as microorganisms the organisms which are very small and can be seen only with the help of microscope are called microorganisms or microbes at times we see very tiny organisms called fungi they start growing on objects like our shoes clothes jackets etc now we are able to see these organisms because they are present in large numbers and they are found in groups called colonies and that is why they are visible to the naked eye but otherwise if we have to see a particular fungi then we have to take help of instrument called microscope algae on the surface of ponds is also visible due to the same reason let's study about the habitat of microorganisms that means Where do microorganisms live? Do you know that right now also there are uncountable number of microorganisms present all around us. Since these are microscopic, we will not be able to see them through our naked eyes. So, if you are asked where exactly do microorganisms live? The answer is everywhere. Microorganisms are found everywhere. They are omnipresent. The word omni means all. That means Microorganisms are present at all places. So, are these microorganisms present in the ice cold regions also, where there is freezing cold, for instance, Siberia and Alaska? Now, if it is difficult for the higher organisms to survive there, will it be possible for microorganisms to survive? Answer is yes. We will find microorganisms here as well. Let's switch to opposite extreme. Let's go to an area where there is extreme heat. Can they survive in extremely hot areas also? Yes. To your surprise, they are able to survive there also. Amongst the many microorganisms which we find there, there is one kind of bacteria known as thermophiles, which is found there. As the name suggests, thermo means heat and philis means loving. These are heat-loving bacteria which can survive only in such hot areas. Shall we try a region with pH change? Let's take example of Dead Sea. We know that Dead Sea is famous for extreme salinity. Guess what? Some of the microbes survive here as well. Bacteria of types halophiles are able to survive here. As the name suggests, Halo means salt, phyllis obviously means loving. That means there are salt loving bacteria found in Dead Sea also. Which means there is no place on the earth where we would not find microbes. That means they are present everywhere in air, soil, snow, hot springs, saline water, and in extreme conditions like extreme hot and extreme cold so if living in such extreme conditions is possible for them then what about the most comfortable condition on and inside the human body yes microbes are found on the surface of our body as well as inside the body but need not worry the microbes inside the body are called normal flora of our body they are also known as good worms that is they do not harm us parts of a microscope there are four most important things in a microscope eyepiece lenses stage and light light in order to see anything in the world we require light by throwing light on any object we can easily make out minute details of the object this is also true for microscopic levels the light source is normally below the stage stage 
The stage is where we place the slide which we want to examine. The class slide with the specimen is mounted onto the stage with the help of side clips. The bottom of the stage has a hole which allows light to pass through it and light up the specimen. All mechanical stage can move front and back on the x-axis and sideways on the y-axis. So, we can focus on different parts of the specimen. Lenses Microscopes have a combination of lenses that are placed in such a manner that it can produce high resolution images. Lenses are the most important parts of the microscope. The lenses mounted on the revolving nose piece are called objective lenses. The eyepiece through which you look at your specimen rests at the top of microscope. These binocular lenses have adjustable magnification usually less than the objective lenses. The eyepiece can magnify object up to 10 times and the objective lenses another 100 times. This means you are seeing objects magnified 1000 times. Electron Microscope In early 1900s, people began to understand how to manipulate electrons. Experiments with these tiny particles lead to the realization that they could use them to see microscopic things with atomic details with electron microscope. An electron microscope shoots a steady beam of electrons onto a specimen. These electrons will bounce back where they are detected by a sensor. This sensor makes an image by reading the time it took to return. Using this technique, scientists are able to achieve resolution of 1 million times. Well, now that you have understood about the various parts of microscope, go through the labeled figure of compound microscope.